Hey, what's up? I have some breaking news from eBay. eBay has finally made something available to us sellers that we have been asking for for so long. Especially if, ooh, it's thunder. Especially if you do drop shipping like I do and you hire virtual assistants from overseas, this is something that we need to run our business and eBay has finally made it happen. So what I'm talking about is the ability to add other users to our eBay accounts without giving them full access to our eBay store. So in other words, let's say you want to hire a virtual assistant to help you with your listings, but you don't want them to full have full access to your store. Well, now you have that option. Now I'm going to go into my computer in just a second to show you exactly how to set this up. But I will tell you that there are some limits on this, unfortunately. eBay, for right now, the only thing that you can delegate, so to speak, to someone else is things around the listing process, creating uh, listings or creating drafts of listings. eBay has promised us, though, that they will be adding more to that throughout this year. Things like having a employee be able to access your orders and to help with customer service as well. But, you know, let's go into the computer now, let's get inside, and then I can show you exactly how to set this up for yourself. So come over to ebay.com, and on the top right, you wanna hover over where it says My eBay, and click on Selling, which is a little more than halfway down because you wanna make sure that your page looks similar to this. This is the eBay seller hub, and you won't be able to activate these authorized users unless you've already opted in to the eBay seller hub. So if your page does look like this, then you're ready to go. So we'll move on to step two, which is hover over the top right again, where it says my eBay, and click on summary. Then right here in the middle of the middle of the page where it says your store name, underneath it, it says account, click on account. And now this page will show you how much money you owe eBay. But on the left, there is a menu sidebar menu. Click the last one, which says permissions. This is a new one that they just added. And this is where you do it. So this is where you can add the authorized users. On the top right, click on add user. And obviously it's pretty easy now. Put in their first name, their last name, their email address, and select what you want them to do. In this case, I'm going to let my virtual assistants publish and revise listings. Now, once you click add user, they're going to get an email instructing them what to do next and how to log in. And that's basically it. Guys, if you wanna learn more about eBay dropshipping and what it is that I do, I will be hosting a free webinar soon. So that will be linked up down below. Just click on that link to sign up for the free webinar. But that's really all there is to this. It's pretty simple. So if this was helpful to you, please give the video a thumbs up. If you want me to review any other new features that eBay has rolled out, let me know in the comment section down below. Or if you found this helpful, let me know in the comment section down below. Otherwise, subscribe to the channel if you want more breaking news about eBay, more new features that they're adding as they come out. I make videos about them. So if you wanna get those videos as they're happening, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.